All right then gang, so now we know how to get documents from the Firestore and how to add new documents to the Firestore via this form. Now the next thing I want to introduce you to is how to delete documents from the Firestore. Now from a UI perspective, this is how I'd like it to work. I want to display a little cross in each LI tag over here and when we click on that cross, it makes a delete request to the Firestore to delete this document from the Firestore. Now remember these LI tags, they're being output in this render cafe function right here. So for each different document that we receive, we're creating an LI tag and then two span tags inside the LI tag. And we're rendering that to the DOM for each one right here. So also for each LI tag, I'd like to create another element which is gonna have a little X inside it for the cross. So let's now create that element. I'll say let cross equal to document.createElement and then inside, this is gonna be a div. Now it can be a span if you want. I've just done it as a div so I can style it differently in the CSS without messing around with nth child selectors and things like that. So anyway, we've created that element now. Now we need to set the text content of it. So we'll say cross.text content and that's gonna be equal to just an X. All right, finally, we need to append this div right here to the li. So I'll say li.append child and we want to append the cross all right so now if we save that we should see a cross element for every ally tag there it is okay cool now if we click on this at the minute nothing is going to happen so what we need to do is hook up that functionality for each one of these crosses now where are we going to hook up that functionality well a good idea is to hook it up inside this render cafe function right here because what we can do is access that individual cross each time around for each document and we can set an event listener to each individual cross. So let's do a little comment first of all and this is going to say deleting data then underneath that we will say cross which is the element we just created and rendered to the DOM dot add event listener the event is going to be a click event that we want to listen to and we'll fire this callback function taking the event object when a user clicks it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is say e.stop propagation. That just stops the event bubbling up. Okay, next I'd like to say let ID equal to e.target.parent element, like so, dot get attribute, and I'll explain this in a second. And then the attribute we want is the data hyphen ID. Now, what am I doing here? Well. I'm getting an ID variable and I'm setting that equal to the event.target, which is the cross, the element that we click on. Then I'm getting the parent element of that cross, which is the LI. Then I'm getting an attribute from the LI, which is the data ID attribute. Remember, we set that data ID attribute right here. So what I'm actually getting is the document ID. That is the unique ID for the document inside here, this thing. So when I click on a cross, for example, this top one, what I'm doing is getting this ID right here. So that once I have that ID, what I can do is use it to query the Firestore and say, hey, find a document with this ID and then delete it. So that's what we wanna do now. We have the ID, now we just need to query the Firestore and delete that document. So db.collection, because we want to go into the Cafe's collection again. Then what we want to do is find an individual document. Now, how do we do that? because previously we've just been retrieving or using the full collection. Now, this time we want to find one document inside that collection. Now to do that, we say dot doc. This is how we find a single document and we pass the ID of that document inside here. So we can pass through the ID like so. Cool, so now we have a reference to the document with that ID. So whichever document the cross corresponds to. So now we have that reference, we can just use a method called dot delete, and that will go ahead and delete that document. All right, so let's try this out in the browser. I'm just gonna try and delete Sean's Magical Coffee Emporium. I'll press the cross. Obviously nothing happens on the front end because we're not hooking up to real time updates in the database yet. But if we go to the database, we can see one less record now here. There's three over here and we can't find Sean's Magic Coffee Emporium anywhere. Now, if we refresh over here, it's gone. Cool. So again, what we're doing 
is we're creating now a cross for every single li tag that we render every single document that we retrieve so they're all getting their own cross and we're appending that cross to that li now we're setting up an event listener to each individual cross and that event listener is listening for a click event we're stopping the propagation of that event so it doesn't bubble up and then we're using this id right here to get that id from the li tag and then we're using that id to grab this document and then delete it does that make sense good all right then so now we know how to retrieve data save data and delete data in the next video i want to show you how to perform slightly more complex queries